Hello, all my baker friends out there. I hope you're enjoying my journey as I bake my way through the Great British Baking Show's cookbook, Kitchen Classics, based on the latest season of the Great British Baking Show that I absolutely adore. I am in no way affiliated with them. I just thought it would be fun to bake my way through this cookbook and maybe share some insight into the recipes so that you will get this cookbook and bake them for yourself. So, I hopped into the chocolate section probably my favorite section. And I made the chocolate and peanut brookies. So this is what the brookies look like. Ah, yummy, yummy, yummy. And I found them quite delicious. Uh, I served them to my students who had no trouble gobbling them up. They thought they were quite delightful. So watch my little mini video as I put it all together and we'll come back and we'll talk about how they were. So here we go on our chocolate peanut brookies. Of course, I have laid out all of my ingredients. It's very smart to do that ahead of time. I have not done that and it's not turned out well. So of course, with any cookie recipe, usually brownie, you're gonna mix your wet ingredients and then your dry, which I'm doing there. And I'm basically making the peanut butter mixture first because you're gonna make two different mixtures in this recipe. And once you get that dough, uh, you're just gonna put that aside and start on the second one. So I'm just melting some chocolate with some butter uh, over a double boiler. Again, wet ingredients, got my melted chocolate. It's all beautiful and shiny. Oh, they're gonna look good. And we're gonna add that to the second mixture. And of course, add in our dry ingredients and we're gonna start assembling them uh, fairly soon. So, um, oh, looks like it's snowing, doesn't it? <laughs> I get a little crazy with the flour. So I'm stirring it in instead of uh, using the mixer. Mixer. So I have a um, brownie pan lined with some parchment paper, and basically you're just going to be separating the doughs, and you can see how I did it there, um, pouring over the dark chocolate mixture, over the peanut mixture there and then adding some more peanut mixture on top of that. And there's no special science to it, just randomly put it on there, however you like it to look. And then I'm gonna finish it off by, I chopped up some more dark chocolate and a little bit of sea salt to give it that salty edge with the sweet, so yeah. So I baked them and they came out and this is what they look like. I think they look very delicious, if I do say so myself. So here is a photo of theirs from the book and here are mine. And you can see some of the chocolate chips there are still kind of gooey looking. Uh, they're going to set up, obviously, as they cool, but here's a little close-up. Doesn't that look mouthwateringly amazing? Good. They are. Very good. So here are my brookies. I hope you will make them. So do you want to make the chocolate peanut brookies now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I said, they were great. Um, they were... Um, I think I could have baked mine a little less because I like that chewy, gooey, and soft inside of a brownie. And um, these were a little more uh, firm, uh, but they were still delicious. Um, very, very, um, very good. And quite simple to make. You just have to make two different batters and mix them together. So not difficult at all. Um, I personally, for my taste buds, I thought that they needed a little to be a little bit more peanut buttery, but my students didn't think that. They thought that was enough, so that could just be me uh, personally. So I say make them. Uh, get this cookbook, make the chocolate peanut brookies. You won't be disappointed.